Hello my dear students, welcome to another interesting session by Vedantu Young Wonders and this is your Mathematics Master Teacher taking a super duper amazing session for you all which says how to do final revision for mathematics. So as your final exams are approaching, let's see few of the amazing ways by which you can do your final revision. But before we move ahead, guys, this is a small introduction of your master teacher. So I have done my B.Ed., my C.T.E.T., my B.Com. And right now also, I am pursuing my master's in economics. And if you talk about the passions which Priya ma'am has, bacho, mujhe bahut maza aata hai in making the handmade crafts, solving Sudoku puzzles, going to NGOs not right now, earlier, when things were fine, and teaching the children over there. And achievements ke agar aap baat karo, to it really means a lot when all of you, when so many students every day say, ma'am, you have taken away the mathophobia, aapne hamara maths ka dar hata diya hai. That's very important. And if you talk about the fun engaging activities, right? And making children comfortable, feel with the subject. Because unless and until you are comfortable, you won't enjoy a particular subject or any other task as well. If you languages, ki baat karo bachcho, to Priya ma'am knows Hindi and English. So if you want to know more about your master teacher, then follow me on Priya underscore Vedantu and you will be able to get to know much more about me. Okay, chali aage hai bacho, and it's time for Priya ma'am to give a big shout out to all the YT lovers, to all my new joinees who do not know what are YT lovers, but YT lovers are the students who keep putting up their feedbacks in the comment box of the video to let us know that how was the session. If you're watching a particular session, do give your feedback to us in the comment box. So for the previous session, I get a big shout out to Shreyashi Janvi Diku, yes, my Dikshita over there, Weber Vedehi DS Apkare, Anshika, Chitranjan, Manu, and Yati Bharti. Thank you so much, guys. And now I would like to show you a few of the comments. So Mayank says, ma'am, thank you, ma'am, for the lovely session. I enjoy maths because of you. Thank you so much. Session was lovely. Thank you, Mayank, anytime. And here's a big hat to you, Bacha. Rajita, oh, it's Vibhava. Vibhava says, today's session was amazing. I love your teaching. Thank you. I have learned new points in today's session. Yes. Aaj bhi hum bahut sare naye points jannne wale hai bachyo. DS Apkare, I will always respect you with the deepest respect and affection for your efforts in making each lesson enjoyable and educational. Wow. Your inspiring lessons gave my life a direction. That really means a lot bachyo. Thank you for being the best teacher student could ever hope for. Thank you, DS Apkare, my dear. And if you talk about De Dev comments, so ma'am, your videos are amazing. I learned very well my this chapter and doubts are solved. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my dear. And here's a big hat to all of you. So all the students who are watching the premiere right now, do let me know in the comment box that how was the session. Were you all able to tell? Were you all able to actually go through the points which can be helpful for you during the final revision? And here Priya ma'am comes with another interesting surprise for you that if you are really looking for the solutions to your doubts, here it is, what it is. I hope all of you were really super duper excited to know about the new series which Priya ma'am is starting. And yes, the wait is over now. And tomorrow at 9 o'clock, we are starting with Shanka Samadhan where you will get your doubts cleared by Priya ma'am in the live class, right? So the link is given in the description box of the video. All those who want to ask their doubt, do fill the form and I will come up with your doubts in the live session tomorrow onwards at 9 o'clock. And now let's move ahead. So it's time for everybody to mark your attendance. So give a big fat thumbs up to the session, guys. Do put it up in the comment box. How was the session? And are you really super duper excited for the Shanka Samadhan series coming from tomorrow onwards? Share it with your friends in case they have missed out the points that how it can be helpful for them to do the final revision for this particular subject. And yes, the most important, do not forget to become a big, big, big member of the super big family Vedantu Young Wonders. And thank you so much for all those who have already subscribed. Or aap is piyari si family ke ek member ban chuke hai. Now we move ahead to are interesting words which I was telling you in the beginning of the session. Mathophobia. So many students have that. What is that actually? 
इट्स द एंगजाइटी अबाउट वन एबिलिटी टू डू मैथमेटिक्स मैम नहीं होता हमसे मैम देर आर सो मेनी सिले मिस्टेक्स विच आई डू एवरी डे मैम कैलकुलेशन मिस्टेक इट्स रिटर्न मैम प्लस बटम गलती से माइनस कर देते हैं मैम टू की जगह थ्री कॉपी कर दिया और हमारे मैथ्स में वन मार्क डिडक्ट हो गया यस yes. ये सारी जो आपकी मैथोफोबिया है जितना भी डर है इस सब्जेक्ट को लेके दैट विल बी गोइंग अवे वेरी सुन राइट If you watch our sessions regularly, so I'll tell you some super duper amazing ways by which you can do your final revision and your mathophobia will no more exist from this session now. So first thing we I have got to know, bacha, that scientists have done a research on the brain of young students, right, who are good or fast in mathematics and who are slow. You know what was the result? Can you all guess? Guess. Let me know in the comment box, guys, that. what can be the result what can be the result of this research over there yes it was that there is no such math gene or no math brain i have really seen jo bachche bolte hai ma'am my parents are very good at mathematics or my father is a mathematics teacher my mother is into so and so uh, account so she know maths very well there is no such math gene bachcha it all depends on you and yes you know what any one can learn math it can be any one so you, it's just such an interesting subject with which the logics if they are clear you don't have to rattify also anything and these concepts are actually used in your daily life every day that is why i keep telling you importance of the topic in each and every session so that you can very well relate to it ki why ma'am is teaching so and so topic and how it will be useful to us right so the next time when you go through such a situation in your life you will never get stuck over there and now let's talk about conversation that will enlighten so here starts the few amazing con points which will help you in your final revision so bachcho sit with your notebook and a pen and do note down these points these will be very 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 helpful for you first one go through your specification and highlight each topic according to the difficulty level to so, sabse pehle aapka kaam kya hoga check your index or make a list of the topics which are coming in your exam and highlight the topics according to difficulty ya fir unko ek ranking de do and after that spend some more time which you have marked the hardest topics right but yes lesser times are the easier but do not forget to revise them actually because if you will forget then you will not remember those topics yes you should not waste a lot of time in it but a considerable amount of time is required to each and every topic so jitne bhi sabse zyada mushkil aap topics mark karte ho unko aap sabse zyada time spend karna chahiye aapko and you should pick up more of such questions for practice right i hope all of you have noted down the first one and second point which will help you is bunch together the past paper questions on a specific paper right put up all the papers at one place and then you will quickly see the similarities between the questions and common things that come up and this really helps to ensure you know a topic right when you will jot down all the papers you will see oh ma'am fractions chapter ke is is tarah ke different questions aa rahe hain so i have to actually go through every concept right and you will also know ki similarity kya kya hai right it might be a word problem which is coming every time from that particular topic or you can revise the basics first yes let's see now you know there is something very interesting called flash cards or posters so what happens with them we should put all the key formulae or equations in such posters that will really help you to revise before one night of your exam or before a day right before an exam these flash cards really play a very important role so keep that in front of you and they will be there in your mind during your exam and actually we don't have to learn any formula or equations in mathematics because we understand the logic behind each and every formula which keeps coming up in every chapter right i hope jitne bachche mere regular sessions mein aate hain they have noticed this particular point ab ek interesting sa concept hai bachcho flash light mode ab isme kya hota hai there are actually two different modes which will come in your mind when you are talking about 
फ्लैश लाइट मोड द फर्स्ट वन इज फोकस मोड एवरीबाडी नोज द मीनिंग ऑफ फोकस टू फोकस समवेयर अ मोर जैसे कि मैंने अभी आपको बोला कि जितने भी आपको हार्डेस्ट टॉपिक्स लगते हैं स्पेंड मोर टाइम वो कैसे पता चला आपको वेन यू हैव फोकस्ड ऑन द कॉन्सेप्ट जिसकी आपने लिस्ट बनाई है एंड सेकेंड इज द डिफ्यूज मोड सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस मोड इन डिटेल फोकस इज कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन अ गिवन सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चन राइट जैसे अभी मैंने आपको बोला कि हार्डेस्ट क्वेश्चन पे सबसे पहले ध्यान देना और सबसे ज्यादा टाइम देना बट इजियर को भी निग्लेक्ट नहीं करना है then diffuse mode says this is a big picture when you relax your mind a bit okay let me take a break now because break is also very essential guys continuously if you study a topic or if you study a subject for more than an hour that will take you into diffuse mode you will start forgetting things or the understanding level will go down so what we should do you should gain new insight into problems struggling with so you should give them adequate amount of time over there right so now we come up to the fourth point i hope flashlight mode aap sabko clear ho gaya focus mode kuch questions pe zyada dhyan dena kuch topics pe zyada dhyan dena and diffuse mode is that when you need to relax your mind a bit now now next point is do past papers under timed conditions to abhi humne पिछले कुछ टॉपिक्स में बात की थी पिछले कुछ पॉइंट्स में बात की थी कि पास्ट पेपर्स को एक जगह बंच कर लो राइट right? तो आपको सिमिलैरिटी ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस दिख जाएंगे डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स यू विल गेट टू डू बट देन यू शुड आल्सो नॉट जस्ट बंच देम यू शुड ट्राई टू फिनिश देम विद द टाइम गिवन फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर पेपर सो दैट यू विल बी एबल टू डू दिस इन योर रियल एग्जाम ऑल्सो दैट इज एक्चुअली वॉट इज कॉल्ड time management right if you have a 80 marks paper for two and a half hours then you should practice at least one or two papers so that you can see ki two and a half hours mein aap kitne questions kar pate ho and the best thing is you should always start from the higher questions what does i mean by that the questions which contain higher marks right inko zyada marks assign kiya gaya in case you even if you forget also अगर आपके पास टाइम भी कम है तो देन मार्क्स विच विल यू विल लूज विल बी लेस तो अगर आप पहले फोर मार्क्स के थ्री मार्क्स टू मार्क्स एंड देन वन मार्क इफ यू डू दैट विल आल्सो टेक लेसर टाइम एंड इट्स द स्टडी सेज दैट यू शुड गिव टाइम टू दोज क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट जिनमें आपको सॉल्विंग ज्यादा चाहिए जिनमें आपको स्टेटमेंट्स प्रॉपर लिख लिए एवरीथिंग राइट दैट विल एक्चुअली कंज्यूम योर टाइम इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग एज वेल एंड हे बी कम अप टू द लास्ट point for the day that is work through questions with friends yes study has also proved that group study really helps us a lot right even if you know a topic and you sit with your friends your cousins your elders and study that topic that will that topic you will never ever forget so look over your notes on a specific topic and then work through a bunch of questions with your friends so group study also helps us a lot yes but at the time of study it should be only study in between you take breaks so moving on to this my dear students this is now how you will tell me that which of these points you already follow or are there any new points which you are following and helping you a lot or you have already make a to do list ki final revision karna kaise hai so let me know in the comment box if you are facing any of these problems or in me se koi point pe aapko aur clarity chahiye to let me know in the comment box i'll surely go through your comments and resolve your doubts yes so see you all tomorrow and if you want to know more about priya ma'am then follow me on priya underscore vedantu and this is our telegram group bachcha where you all can join us telegram channel and you will get to know much more about your channel every day schedules whatever classes are going on any new series upcoming all the things will be shared to you on our telegram channel as well so if you have enjoyed the session quickly give a big fat thumbs up to the session put it up in the comment box how was the session share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe guys so that as and when priya ma'am is live aapko milega bell notification aur aap kabhi bhi session ko time pe join karna nahi bhulenge with this thank you so much for your time guys see you all tomorrow at 9 o'clock with the new series beginning ashanka samadhan that is getting your maths doubts solved 
in a live session by Priya ma'am along with your names. So the form for the same is given in the description box. So please do fill up the form if you have any doubts and I will take it up from tomorrow onwards in the Shanka Samadhan series. So I am super duper excited to start this series with you. Hope you all are. Let me know in the comment box. Until we meet tomorrow, take care of yourself. Stay safe. This is your mathematics master teacher, Priya ma'am, signing off for the day. Bye-bye.